so here's the board it controls everything think about those big knobs that are labeled as channels so there's a channel for mic 1 mic 2 CD 1 CD 2 CD 3 or laptop the automation the turntable and remote which isn't important um, it's got knobs that control volume and input to the headphones and monitors and it also has switches that also control input the CD input switches and then there are the laptop input switches so the board is very simple and this is how it works you have the switches above the big knobs controlling each channel the switch tells the board where to send the audio so if it's set to program as you see CD1 and 2R means that it's going out over the air so if it were in the middle it wouldn't go out over the air and the big knobs below it are the volume for each input so if something's too loud you can turn it down or if something's not loud enough you can turn it up little windows with the needle in it show the levels of what you're sending out and if you see that the red light is going then it's spiking and you should probably turn it down now here are the switches and knobs I was talking about earlier we've got a monitor input and volume and a headphone input and volume now these are useful in a couple of ways and the first way is that you can use it to queue up songs so say you wanted to play a song off of a CD but you couldn't listen to it through the monitors because you were playing a song off your iPod that was being broadcasted so to get around that you would switch the CD input to audio instead of program you would switch it to audio and then switch the headphone or monitor input to audio so then while you still have the music that's going out over the air from your iPod still playing you won't be able to hear that anymore in the monitor or headphone whichever one you choose to switch to audio you can switch both it doesn't really matter then what would happen is you would hear the CD that you wanted to queue up for the next one that would be playing instead of what was going out over the air now doesn't mean that what's going out over the air has stopped as long as it's switched to a program it's still going out over the air so think of the bottom of the board and the top of the board as two separate things the top of the board doesn't necessarily control what goes out over the air while the bottom part of the board does so it's a, it's a useful feature something you're gonna have to practice I can definitely help you out with it if you need help